What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and you got me. And today we're taking a look at microphones. We're looking at the Shure SM58, the Shure Beta 58A, and the Shure Beta 56A. All these microphones are part of the Shure line, and they're great for vocals, they're great for singing uh, and speech, and they're great, uh, and the 56 is also great for doing instruments. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the lot of the three as we, uh, we just play a couple songs. But first of all, here's the unboxing. This is the SM58. All right. Well, first of all, I do have to say I did get product from Sure to unbox and set up. All opinions are of my own. You can go over to geekazine.com forward slash review. Find out more about those policies and procedures. All right. With that said, let's get in here. Let's talk about some of these microphones. The first one we're going to talk about is the Shure SM58. Very basic. It's been around for years. The same capsule, same everything. This is what bands use if you got a... Uh, somebody speaking, well, they might be using a 58. Let's take a look at uh, what the SM58 has to offer. It's a dynamic microphone with a built-in windscreen. It's meant to be held, but it's supplied with a clip, of course. It's durable. It's got a range of 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz, so most voices are just going to be perfect with this, and it's perfect for speech or singing. It's got a cardioid pickup pattern, which basically means that it's all the vocals are going to be coming from here. So if you start talking from this side, it's going to have an off access rejection. Think of it as like taking a balloon and smushing it right in the front there. That area where that balloon is, that's the best place to talk. With that said, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's inside. All right. Inside here, we got all the instructions. We got a little sticker here. If you want to show off your brand there we got uh, we got some instructions uh, and that shows you the polar pattern, shows you all the impedance and, and how to actually do some EQing in your mixing console. This is an XLR microphone. There's going to be no bells or whistles, so you're going to have to hook this up to a mixing console. And of course, that mixing console is going to take care of all the EQ, all the gain, everything like that. We get a microphone clip, so uh, if you get a microphone stand, you can put the clip on there. We've got the microphone itself in some bubble wrap. And then of course, we got a little carrying case, a little shirt carrying case right there. And then we'll come back over here. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we go, look at that. We got the microphone here, and then we get a little Velcro strap. So when we get our XLR cable, we can wrap our XLR cable with the Sure Velcro strap. Bubble wrap out of the way. This is the microphone itself. This is a very durable microphone. You can, a lot of people say you can use this as a hammer but I don't. But there's a lot of great features on this. Like I said, the off-access rejection. Uh, the, the grill itself is a windscreen. In fact, if we take the top off here, this is the grill and inside you'll see a little piece of foam. That's the windscreen right there. So you will not need to use a windscreen on the on this microphone. You will not you need, really need to use a pop filter on this microphone. This is meant to get up into your mouth. So uh, that's where this comes from. So and as you can see, we've got the capsule right here, which kind of looks like an SM57 sister, brother, whatever of the uh, of the Shure SM58. Uh, and it is based off of the SM57 technology as well. And then, of course, uh, we've got on the bottom here, we've got the connection. So you can hook up an XLR cable. We do have an XLR cable at the ready for this. And that's pretty much it with this microphone. Now, this microphone is meant to be held to the point where you could even be talking like this in, the, uh, in front of it. I highly recommend being about a few inches away from your mouth and then of course coming from your corner. That way you do reduce any plosives. These are the P's and B's and S's that come through which can really start to pop and hiss inside of any type of uh, recording or anything like that. So uh, having the microphone right about here only a few inches away from your mouth is a perfect point. Remember that balloon thing I was telling you about? You just smush it right there. As long as you're in that zone, you're good to go. And of course, if you talk like this in the microphone, it's going to have the off access rejection. My best friend, she follows me around to the very end. If 
fur is soft and her eyes so wide She's in the southern when I'm tired My cat and I have many adventures We explore the world without any censure We laugh and we play till it's time to eat Then we snuggle up on the couch for a sleep all right, next up here we have the Shure Beta 58A. Let's check out the Beta 58 specs here. It's a dynamic microphone. It's better off access rejection than the 58 because of the capsule. We'll show you that in a little bit. It's a super cardioid microphone. It's got a range of 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz, just a little bit more than that 58. So if you've got a higher end voice, it'll work a little bit better. XLR connected, you do need to have some sort of interface that can control it and it's perfect for speech or for singing. It's called a super cardioid microphone, whereas this one is a cardioid microphone. So when I hold it, there's, there's some handling noise that you get from here. This, the, this microphone will do a lot better job at off-access rejection. This was 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz. The Beta 58 is 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz. So if you've got a higher end voice, a female voice, this might work better for you than the 58. So let's go ahead and open this up. Nope. All right, so this is the Beta 58. We got the user guide right here. Um, simple as that, we got some instructions, just like with the uh, regular 58, we get a sticker. Nice little sticker right here. And then we have this right here. This is the microphone monitor locator for best gain and feedback. So if you're using a monitor, for example, those uh, monitors usually like a little wedge that sits in front of you, points towards your face, so you can hear what you're saying. This is uh, helping you kind of set that, set that area for that. So got a little mic clip, just like with the 58. And then of course the microphone and bubble wrap. We've got an adapter for your mic clip. If you've got a different type of microphone stand, this will be used for that. And then of course, we've got a nice little Shure Beta carrying case. That's a Shure Beta on it. Just like with the uh, regular 58, we get a nice little Velcro tie right here for your XLR cable. I'll put that here. And then this is the Beta 58. So let's compare the two microphones really quick. There's not much differences between the 58 and the Beta 58. You got this little blue stripe on the grill, for example. Same XLR on the bottom. They just got a little piece of tape that you're gonna take off, first time use tape that you're gonna take off. But other than that, everything looks pretty much the same. This is a lighter gray than this one. That'll tell you if you're using a 58 or a Beta 58. And of course, it's gonna say Beta 58 right here. Other than that, same idea as the 58. Let's go ahead and take the grill off because you can do that inside the grill. And sometimes you can you want to replace these grills after a couple of years of use because they get pretty icky after a while. Uh, so we have a little bit of uh, foam in there and that's going to be your windscreen. As you can see, there's the capsule and that looks a little bit different than that 58. So you can see the difference in, uh, in the capsules right there. The Beta 58 is just a little bit longer, but it's also a little bit slimmer than this 58 right here. But other than that, there's not much differences. Uh, they're both solid microphones. They do great jobs. Now, like I said, it uses the super cardioid pattern as opposed to this microphone, which is just uses the cardioid pattern. But it's got, the best part is this off access rejection. Being a drummer, singing drummer, you wanna have a microphone that actually does do more off access rejection. That was the SM58, now we switched it up to the uh, Beta 58A. With a little bit more frequency and a little bit less handling noise. My cat's my confidant and companion. She's always there to listen when I'm ranting. Her pores are soothing and her cuddles are warm. She's my friend, she's my family, she's my little charm. My little cat is my best friend. She follows me around to the very end. Her fur is soft and her eyes so wide. She's always there to snuggle when I'm tired. When I'm tired. All right, we've got the Beta 56A microphone here from Sure. 
Now, out of these other two microphones that I we looked at in Unbox, we have the Beta, we have the SM58, and we have the Beta 58A. The 56A is very similar to the 58A. All right, let's take a look at the Beta 56A. It's a dynamic microphone, super cardioid pattern. It's a short body with an adjustable angle. You can tip it 90, 30, 60, up to 180 degrees and turn it into like 58 or a Beta 58. 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz in the frequency range. Neodymium element inside, and it's used for speech, it's used for singing, or you can also mic up an instrument like a snare drum, a tom, a guitar. Bass guitar, probably not. Anything that goes below 50 hertz, or anything, any instrument that goes above 16 kilohertz, this probably would not be used for, but anything in that 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz range, you can use. This thing's got a positionable angle to it, so I won't have that back end and, of course, the XLR cable coming from there, and I can remove that out of the way. But I use my 56A for my vocals because when I'm playing drums, I'm moving drumsticks around, and every now and then, if I have the beta like this, I'm always hitting the body every now and then. And I've avoided that by with the 56 because I just completely missed that body. So let's go ahead and open up the beta 56. There we go. And just like with the other two uh, microphones, we've got stickers and documentation right there. We've got the microphone right here. Some more documentation. We've also got the... Well, this thin thing does not come with a microphone clip like the others do because it's its own microphone clip. It's got a little adapter here if you need to uh, set it up for a different type of microphone stand. We've got some instrument information here. These are gonna tell you all your patterns and everything like that so you can EQ it properly. And then finally, we've got the uh, carrying case, which says Sure Beta right there, just like with that Beta 58. All right, here we go. Of course, just like with the other two microphones, you get a nice little Velcro strap for your XLR cable, which is always very, very handy to have. And then of course, the microphone right here. Like I said, it's got an adjustable, base to it so i can turn this around that's the best part on the bottom here we have the xlr connection and then this goes into your uh, microphone stand as you can see we can position this in many different positions that way you can have this on the stand like this and then this pointed to the drum whether it be a snare drum whether it be a tom or whether you're using it for vocals on the back here you'll notice a little spring that's sticking out of there that's to help uh, keep that in place when you tighten this down and move it around. So this is going to be placed usually like this. And we'll have if you have like a drum, it's going to be placed right close as close to the surface as possible. Just like with the 58s, we've got this grill inside. This grill is a little bit of cloth. We can turn this grill off. But as you can see, it's the same type of capsule. It's the same capsule, very similar capsule to the Beta 58. And you notice that with this capsule, they both have like a little bit of, of sway to that, as opposed to the regular 58, which has got a completely different capsule to it. And notice how that, that capsule is more towards the base and doesn't have any type of flex to it, whereas the 58 has a little flex on the 56. This is where this off-access rejection comes in because it's like it's got its own little shock mount inside of these microphones right here. All right, here we go. We've got the Beta 56A. My cat and I have many adventures. We explode the world without any essential. We laugh and we play till it's time to eat. Then we snuggle up on the couch for a sleep. My cat's my confidant and companion. She's always there to listen when I'm ranting. Her pillows are soothing and her cuddles are warm. My friend, she's my family, she's my little charm. My little cat is my best friend. She follows me around to the very end. Her fur is soft and her eyes so wide. Always there to snuggle when I'm tired.
And there you go. That's the three microphones from Shure, the SM58, the Beta 58A, and of course the 56A. Which one did you like? Which one uh, works for you better? Do you like the short handle here? Do you like the long handle there? Do you like the... Let me know by tweeting me over at Geekazine. YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, bell notification for the next video. And until next time, you guys geek out, rock out, and be heard with Shure.